Good morning carpers and welcome back to 2021. Uh, this is my first vlog, first fi actually it's my first fishing session of 2021. Um, as you all know, unfortunately we're all back in lockdown. Um, but one good thing that's come out of it is we're allowed to fish. Days only, but we're still allowed to fish. Um, although I'd love to have come down, I don't think you can see it as a carp reserve. Although I'd love to have come down and done a couple of nights down here, uh, unfortunately we can't and I'm going to stick by the rules. Uh, I'm going to come down and I'm going to do two day sessions. Uh, just got down here at first light. And yes, I'm going to... Well, it's about half seven now. Probably going to fish till... Whenever. Eight, nine o'clock maybe. Uh, I'm not sure what the laws are for you know, your day session, so yeah, probably about 8 o'clock, go home, get some sleep, showered, food, back again down here at R7 in the morning, just as it gets light. Right, I'm going to get my waders on, because it's a bit muddy round here. I'm going to have a little look round, see if we can find some fish. Let's go. Welcome back Carpers, well, it's about half nine now, um, had a little walk around, um, not seeing any activity, not seeing any signs of feeding or nothing so I um, had to go out in the boat, it took me about 20 minutes to uh, bail all the water out, as you know it's been raining loads, well down here in Essex it hasn't been snowing but I know up north it's been snowing quite a lot, but yeah down here it's been raining quite a lot. But. Um, the reason I've chosen to come down the carp reserve is because it's local. We all know what the laws are. We have to stay local, go fishing local. So um, as, as the crow flies, this is probably about three or four miles away from my house. So um, although I'd like to have gone somewhere on a run to water to get some fish, but just, just to be safe, uh, we've come here. But yes, uh, decided to go in Hobbit Swim. As I know, this got uh, some good form and it's literally right next to the car so I can literally get all my bits over the fence I ain't got a bar or nothing round so yes guys I'm gonna get all my rods out just gonna go for little solid PVA bags I'll probably talk for them later give you a little look but yeah just uh, not gonna put hardly any bait in literally just gonna do solid bags and pump some goo into the solid bags Right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get my rods out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Nearly a thousand subscribers. As soon as we're there, doing that Mad Baits giveaway. So, see you later. Welcome back, carpers. And yes, the rods are out. All free. Um, all on spots that I've heard of before that are good. One over to right there. There's a little brick over there. Um, it's probably about five foot deep at the minute, five six foot. But that's always a winner, apparently. Uh, just put a PVA bag over there. Um, cut down, 
cut down ester blend uh, wafter we have a solid bag with what did I put in there? oh yeah it was nuts boily crumb sort of layers right nuts boily crumb mixed um, pellet two mil four mil whatever and then boily crumb on top all on the uh, PVA stems from Avid and I'll, I'll show you one later when I do another one or tomorrow um, but yeah inside that I've just uh, pumped some Scopex goo into there just to see what happens um, next one it's literally just in front of this just in front of this bush literally about here there's a nice hard spot there yeah, uh, got one to there. Exactly the same, but I changed the hook bait to a little, a little tiny iso cream. There we go, guys. Another little clue. Iso cream, the Turkish <laughs> little dumbbell pop up. Little tiny one it is. Sure, I've shown you them before. And the next one. See where that that little channel opens up. Yeah, just in front of that rod length towards us, there's a nice hard spot there, and I've literally just got a Ronnie rig with a wicked white wafter, nothing else. Uh, yeah, gonna see what happens. It's half ten now. It's took me a while to choose a spot, get these, you know, get these rods out, but they're all done. Well, right, I'm gonna stick the kettle on, have a nice cup of tea, have a little warm up, and uh, I'll check in with you soon. See you later carpers, stay safe. Welcome back carpers. Um, motionless rods but that's to be expected on the lake like this and me. But yeah, motionless rods, uh, not seeing anything. Um, I did actually fall asleep on the chair for a couple of hours. Um, but yeah, it's pitch black now. It's about half seven, so I'm gonna get home. But it's not over yet, guys. Come back and join me for part two in the morning, so I'm coming back in the morning. And uh, I'm gonna try the same place, because um, Literally, just now, uh, went out there with a head torch in the boat and put some bait out. So hopefully I'm going to come back in the morning, get get them, uh, you know, I thought I'd see something then. <laughs> yes, yeah, get the rods back out on the spots and we'll fish the same spots again. I've got them all wrapped up so I don't need to go out in the boat tomorrow. Literally fling them straight out. So yes guys, see you later, see you in the morning. Good morning carpers and welcome back to day two. As you can see, I'm in my little bivvy shelter. Well, it's my bivvy. Um, checked the weather forecast this morning. It said it was gonna rain. So I thought, shall I go, shall I not go? And I thought, do you know what? You gotta be in it to win it. So yeah, set the bivvy up when I got here. Um, yeah, then this happened. Yep, it started to snow. What do I do? I've already set up. You never know, we might catch a snow carp. But I'm not sure what's happening with the water because it looks like it's settling on the water. And if you can see that, look, all that, it's all settled. Obviously that bit there is not settled. So, what to do? I literally got here this morning, put my bivvy up, because like I said, I, I, I checked the weather forecast, I knew it was going to rain. So yeah, set the bivvy up. Uh, my rods were already wrapped up, uh, made some PVA bags last night um, before I went to bed. So literally just got here and chucked them out. Um, yeah, then it started snowing. So, what to do? As you can see guys, using my new line. Uh, first impressions, I think it's really good. Sinks quite nice. Um, yeah, it seems really nice. Um, I haven't really casted it far yet, and I think so I don't know what it's like for casting. But I think 
you haven't seen the video of me uh, how to put it on my line, there's a little link above that. Go and check that out. I was going to do some other little videos uh, while I was here um, today, like wrapping up and a couple of other little things, maybe like fish care if I catch a fish that is. Um, I also wanted to do uh, self takes, obviously I need a fish for that, but yeah, right, I need to decide what I'm going to do, am I going to waste my time here and not catch anything, or shall I sit it out, because you never know, we might catch something, we might catch a winter carp, a snow carp that is, right, I'm going to be off, and I'll speak to you soon. Well folks, what can I say? This snow and rain is relentless. Um, well, it's just started raining now, it has been snowing. But I just can't keep my leads and uh, rigs on the, the spots that I've been baiting. Because uh, obviously the snow's been settling on the top, wind's been pushing it and it's just pulling them off. Um, I've had a, another recast on both, but it's just done exactly the same again. Um, it's, it's midday now, I think I'm going to cut my losses and uh, come back another time. Uh, probably just going to chuck a few baits out there for now. Um, maybe come back next week or the week after. But yes guys, sorry I've had to cut it short and sorry there hasn't been much filming today, but it's been, that's been horrendous out there. Absolutely horrendous. I can't even get the camera out there. Let's, let's uh, turn it around and show you. Yeah, look. Absolutely horrendous. I mean, both of them rods are bent round to the right and left where the um, the snow on top of the water is just, just pulling it around. So yes, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. We're nearly at 1,000 subscribers. Um, hopefully on the next vlog, we'll be doing this Mad Baits giveaway. Uh, and yes guys, can't wait for 2021, um, it's going to be an epic year. Ah, that's one thing I forgot to say guys, I don't know if you can remember, in my last vlog, I said I had um, one France trip booked, and I may be possibility of having a second one booked. Well yes Carpers, that second one is confirmed, and I'm pleased to say, me and the missus are off to, with Club Carp, we're off to Cassian, fishing Cassian for a week. Um, that's always been a dream of mine. I've never, ever thought that I'd ever get to go, to be honest. But I have Club Carp, um, you know, credit where credit's due. Um, yeah, they've made that happen. So, yeah, my dream of fishing Cassian, the mecca of all carp lakes, has um, actually come true. So, absolutely buzzing to do that. That's in September, uh, 20th of September, which is going to be wicked. So yes guys, unfortunately this is the end of the vlog, but I've got another couple of little videos coming, as you can see down there, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have got myself a new little pod, that's the Sabre All Terrain Pod, and I will be doing a review on that. It's not, uh, I haven't really wanted the pod for the pod itself, it's more been down on a place like the carp reserve it's all quietly quietly hush hush and me coming along banging some you know some bank sticks in um, probably scares the fish away so i wanted a little pod um, got this sent through yeah a nice little pod where i can you know put it down nice and quietly and you know fish especially as i want to do some short overnighters on here now but yes guys i'm gonna stop rabbiting on um i'm off See you later, take care, stay safe, abide by the rules everyone, see you later.